What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and a lot of you guys have been asking for more technical related videos as far as recreational and tech diving goes and so I thought I'd make a series on gas blending and how we actually blend a particular blend of gas, maybe it's nitrox or even trimix as well and just show you how simple it can be. Now there's going to be a series of videos here. We're going to start with the most basic and then progressively get a little bit more intense as the videos go. So in this first video, what we're going to do is learning how to calculate the partial pressure of a particular gas and whatever that gas may be. It can be uh, oxygen, it can be nitrogen, or it can even be helium in itself. So it doesn't really matter what the partial pressure or what the blend that we're trying to get is, the procedure to calculate a particular partial pressure is very simple to do. There's really only a couple of factors that you need to know. You need to know, first of all, what the partial pressure of a given gas is. You also need to know what your starting pressure that's in that cylinder is. So you know exactly how much uh, gas or how much partial pressure of a given gas makes up that blend in itself. So for example, when we talk about partial pressure, what we're actually talking about is the actual mixture or the ingredient that makes up a gas. So if we took air, and we're gonna consider it standard breathing gas. If we took air, we all understand that it's 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. And those two individual ingredients is what we consider partial pressure. And this, of course, comes from Dalton's Law. Dalton's Law basically says that if you take all the individual gases that make up a blend, if you will, and you add them together, you're gonna get a total gas or a total pressure. And that's basically Dalton's Law 101. Well, that's fine and dandy, except I need to know how much PSI or how much bar that 21% actually takes up. So we're going to do this both in the imperial system and we're going to do it in the metric system as well. And we're just simply going to be using a calculator to do it. And this is something that you can follow along with. Um, if you're using a high pressure or low pressure cylinder, it doesn't really matter. All you've got to do is change the variable as far as your starting pressure. And depending on what blend you're using, I'm just using air, nitrox 32 and nitrox 36 here, or enriched air 32 and enriched air 36. But the blend in itself doesn't really matter. You just change that variable out to whatever it is. So basically to calculate, to know, and we're going to do it imperial first and then we'll jump over to the metric. If I need to know exactly how much PSI is in a standard breathing gas mix at 3,000 PSI, all I've got to do is simply take 3,000, Okay, and I'm going to actually times that by whatever my partial pressure of O2 is. So in a standard breathing gas, we understand it's 21%. Well, it's very difficult to put 21% into a calculator, so we got to remember to convert that percentage over to a decimal point. And if you've seen some of our previous videos on gas uh, mixtures and stuff, you'll understand that percentage and decimal kind of means the same thing. So I simply take 3,000, I'm going to times it by 0.21 or 21%, and I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to give me 630 PSI. So I'm just going to write that down. And that tells me that in a 3,000 PSI cylinder of standard breathing gas, standard air, that 630 PSI of it is actually the oxygen content or the oxygen partial pressure. And you can actually go down and do the math. I'm gonna go ahead and write these up here for you just so that you know what they are. Um, in the imperial system, in a 3000 PSI cylinder, 21% of the oxygen is actually made up of 630 PSI of that cylinder. In a 32 blend, it's 960 PSI. And then, of course, in a 36 blend, it's actually uh, 1,080 PSI as well. It's a very simple process. You just simply type it into the calculator. It's going to tell you what it is. Now, if we jump over to the metric system, it's pretty much the exact same thing, except we're dealing with bar versus dealing with pressure. So if I had, let's say, a 200 bar cylinder and I had standard breathing gas, 21% O2, if you will, all I've got to do is take 200 bar. So just take 200 on your calculator. You're going to times it by the 0.21. So times 0.21. And that gives you 42 bar. So that tells me out of a 200 bar cylinder of standard breathing gas, 42 bar of it is oxygen. Okay, so it's very simple, and I'm going to go ahead and do the math real quick here on these other ones just so you can see them. 
Same thing on a 32% is 64, and on a 36% it's 72 bar as well. So it's a very easy calculation. Now, what can I actually do with that number? Well, we're gonna get in that in the next video as well. We're gonna show you exactly how you can blend a particular gas, whatever it is you're wanting to blend, based off these numbers as well. That also is gonna tell me what my nitrogen content is as well. So if I know that I've got a 3,000 PSI cylinder, if I'm minus 630 PSI from it, which is the oxygen partial pressure, then that will give me what the nitrogen partial pressure is as well. And we understand that nitrogen, of course, is 79%, but 79% of what? Well, you just take 3,000 minus 630 from it. So you just take 3,000 minus 630, and it says 2,370 PSI in that cylinder is actually made up of nitrogen instead of oxygen. But guys, I kind of hope this opens your eyes to how we calculate partial pressures of a given gas. And like I said, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos on partial pressure blending enriched air, and we may even get into nitrox as well. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below, and definitely stay tuned for the continual series that we're going to do here of of partial pressure and, and blending nitrox and things like that. But once again, guys, if you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you like this video, smash that like button and definitely share it as well. And once again, please stay tuned for our continual series on partial pressure blending. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.